I'm Stephen Foskett from Gestalt IT, and we are here at VMware Explore in Las Vegas. We are catching up with some of the top tech companies in the space, and one of them that you may have seen if you watched our recent Cloud Field Day event is Haiku, a leading data protection company. I'm here with Shiva Raja to learn a little bit more about what Haiku means for the VMware administrator. So Haiku offers a purpose-built data protection solution for VMware. What I mean by that is we have several integration points with VMware. This actually deals with vSAN, VADP, vVol. Uh, this is uh, one of the most core integration points when it comes to offering high-performance backups with zero impact on production. Now, one of the core aspects of why we are really good at VMware is scale, because pretty much all of our competitors need a, you know, tons of compute resources when it comes to managing huge VMware infrastructures. So uh, if I have to give you an example, for every 1,000 VMs, uh, our customers basically needed to have up to 20 to 30 proxy servers, repository servers, data movers to perform you know, uh, smooth backups. But with Haiku, they just had to reduce it down to one or at max two Haiku VM controllers. So that was the huge differentiator, and that's exactly why our customers love us. In addition to that, we also offer uh, granular restores that are uh, fully agentless, be it with regards to files, folders, VMs, VDisks, apps, databases, regardless of what it is. And in addition to these restores, you, when, when you're using our solution, you're ba basically future-proofing our solution by having the ability to restore all these backups to any of your public cloud vendor, which is a huge story when it comes to VMware on cloud, especially when it uh, deals with lift and transform uh, story. So let's zoom in on a couple of those things. Mm -hmm. um, first off, I think that the, the whole story of the technology of the product, where you are able to uh, integrate with VMware, where you're able to support higher performance, um, I know that one of the keys to that is tight integration with all the different VMware features, and mm -hmm. specifically vSAN. So vSAN, if uh, folks don't know, is VMware's native storage platform, and it's found all over the place in many different VMware solutions. Now, VMware, of course, is a, a very partner-friendly company and supports a lot of storage solutions, but vSAN is sort of, uh, it, it's everywhere. It's, a, it's an integral part of the, of the system, and having tight integration with vSAN gives Haiku some real superpowers when it comes to data protection. Talk to us a little bit about how Haiku works with vSAN. Absolutely. So, when it comes to vSAN integration, what we do is we offer uh, vSAN snapshot level integration that offers application consistent and crash consistent backups. But we also leverage these snapshots for super fast restores, and not just for VMs, but also granular restores for files, folders, databases, applications, and VMs and vDisks. Uh, one of the other core aspects of vSAN is when you have VMware on cloud, pretty much every cloud deployment for VMware uses vSAN data stores. Just why when you deploy Haiku on VMware on any public cloud infrastructure, you have that native integration that offers high performance backups with zero performance impact. And last but not the least, Haiku itself has its own technology that does backups directly to object storage. I mean, we are the pioneers when it came to doing backups to object storage. A lot of other vendors basically followed our footsteps in doing backups to object storage. So you not only have high performance, but you also reap the benefits of security and cost efficiency of object storage when you're doing backups of your vSAN-based uh, virtual machines onto the native cloud object storage. And it's really important when you talk about um, VMware in the cloud because VMware in the cloud is, well, it's a very uh, customer friendly offering, but it's also an offering that can get expensive real quick, especially if you're not using those resources to, the, to their, their fullest because you have so much storage and so much networking and so much compute and memory and everything. If you're kind of wasting that resource for, uh, for data protection and sort of uh, secondary tasks instead of using it for the primary thing, then you're wasting money. And I think with uh, what you're saying with Haiku is the sort of the, the integration and the, the high performance capability means that you would be making better use of those resources in the cloud, right? Exactly, because that's what we say purpose-built data protection, right? We make use of uh, VMware's existing, uh, I would say building blocks of data protection, such as vSAN snapshots uh, that are 
pretty much extremely high performance, has zero impact on your production environment, and we leverage those snapshots for crash consistent and application consistent backups by leveraging VMware's own APIs. So we are, we are basically making use of the underlying platform, meaning that we are leveraging the customer's investment to carve out a solid data protection strategy. Now, another really important thing uh, that Haiku does that is a big differentiator for, for, for the product really goes to one of the messages we're hearing here at VMware Explore. VMware is really keen on building a multi-cloud future where you have your own on-premises data center cloud, you have uh, other cloud providers, you've got public cloud, and you're able to move workloads between them. But of course, it's really hard to do that. It's hard to get workloads from on-prem into the cloud. And that's one of the things that I was really impressed by in the Cloud Field Day presentations in the past when we've learned about how Haiku is able to move data into the cloud. Talk to us a little bit about that. Sure. It actually takes me back to the public cloud story of Lift and Shift. I mean, back in the day, Lift and Shift sounded so attractive, right? It, it sounds so good theoretically, but as folks try to migrate their workloads, it wasn't such an easy task because you're moving from one platform to a totally different platform, which is why they pivoted from lift and shift to lift and transform, right? So what we can do is we have the ability to support backup of your VMware platform, be it on-prem or public cloud. And our backups are fully transparent, meaning that we have the ability to restore those backups to public cloud native workloads. If it's Google Cloud, we can do GCV to GCS to GCE. Uh, uh, restores, or if it's AWS, we can actually back up VMware on AWS to S3 and restore them as EC2 instance. So that is the flexibility that you have with Haiku. You're not just investing in backups of your VMware, but you are also future-proofing your workloads to be cloud-ready. Yeah, and of course, um, that's a great way for customers to leverage sort of a multi-cloud strategy, whether it means that they're moving to the cloud or presumably moving from the cloud. Exactly. So. In all of these things you know, we, that we've been talking about, of course, um, one of the things that's really key to keep in mind when you're talking about data protection is that it doesn't matter how good your data protection is if you can't restore it and if you can't protect your systems. I mean, that's why we call it data protection instead of backup. Of so uh, talk to us a little bit about the protection aspect here. Of course, uh, when it comes to data protection, right, we are not just uh, talking about protecting your data from corruption or unforeseen errors or even malicious behavior, but we're also talking about ransomware attacks, right? Uh, so we actually have a phased manner when it comes to protecting your infrastructure from ransomware in terms of data protection. So number one, our backup infrastructure is fully fortified, meaning, uh, or in other terms, it's known as zero trust architecture. I'm sure you're familiar with that. Uh, we offer this via several capabilities, such as multi-factor authentication, network segmentation, backup isolation, uh, multi-tenancy with uh, detailed role-based access control, so on and so forth, right? That's number one. Number two is our ability to basically have immutable backups. Like we are one of the few vendors who could seamlessly do backups to worm-enabled object and NAS storage that are compliant with uh, standards such as SEC 17A-4. Uh, uh, and we also have the ability to monitor your backups if they're infected with ransomware. For instance, if there are any uh, weird change rates, we can actually uh, identify the anomaly, and we also have the ability to automate steps that has the ability to pause the expiration of backups, and in addition to that, we have detailed backup validation workflows that help you to identify and uh, ensure that your backups are clean and, and they're free of ransomware infection. Another really cool aspect of the Haiku platform is what we talked about at Cloud Field Day recently, and that is the ability not only to back up enterprise workloads like this, mm -hmm. uh, but also to do backup of uh, data um, in software as a service applications. Maybe before we go, we can briefly hit how that works. Sure. Uh, so I'm sure uh, most of you folks would have noticed that Haiku actually now offers the one-of-a-kind SaaS protection. Uh, we have the ability to offer uh, global SaaS protection for uh, any kind of a SaaS workload. We started with protecting Salesforce, uh, applications under Atlassian such as Jira, Confluence. Uh, we also support Okta. Uh, and with regards to SaaS workloads that are native to public cloud such as uh, Cloud SQL, BigQuery, or with regards to uh, AWS, we protect RDS. We also support uh, O365 and Google Workspace. And that's just the start 
our roadmap is aggressive. Uh, we, are, we are planning to support more than 100 SaaS applications by the end of this year. Uh, that's a very ambitious roadmap, but that is only possible because of our flexibility offered within our platform. Yeah, and, and I think that that right there tells you what you need to know about Haiku. So on the one hand, you have a high performance uh, data protection solution for VMware workloads like we've been talking about. On the other hand, you also have the ability to protect all that other data that mm -hmm. is um, that customers are, are coming to rely on, Office 365, Google Drive, and on and on and on. And I think that that's really critical. So where can people connect with you and learn more about the Haiku solution? The first obvious answer is uh, visit us at www.haiku.com. But in addition to that, if you wanted to reach out to us, please uh, email us at info at haiku.com. Uh, if you wanted to try our solution, not just on VMware or any SaaS applications or any other supported platforms, you can visit us at tryhaiku.com. In addition to that, you can also check out our SaaS, uh, SaaS protection uh, demos and SaaS protection workflows uh, in Cloud Field Day 17. Thanks so much for joining me today for this uh, Tech Talk with uh, Gestalt IT. You'll find more information, as you heard, uh, on the Haiku site as well as on the techfieldday.com site. And of course, you'll see more of these uh, Tech Talks interviews at gestaltit.com or on YouTube at Gestalt IT Video. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.